It's exciting to get a new phone and Honor phone in this case. However, one of the things I dread most is to lose my information or have to transfer my apps or data from the old phone to a new phone, which may take quite a long time to transfer. Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. For those who are returning, it's good to have you back. I'm Shababs and in this video, I'm gonna guide you through some simple steps to transfer your data from your old phone to a new phone. And in this case, we're gonna be looking at the Honor Magic Lite 6 for the first time. If you need more info about this phone, below you'll find a link or you can just click on the end screen at the end of the video. Just a small reminder, this is not only an unbox, but also a tutorial channel, which you might know, others might not know. So keep the comments polite so we can all benefit from each other. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> your cell phone is activated for the first time and after a factory reset, you turn on your Android device and start. You can change your phone's language, you're going to be prompted to connect to the internet to copy data from one device to the other. To connect to Wi-Fi, just choose from the list of available network when prompted, then click next. Here, you'll be asked to have your old device at hand. Make sure it's turned on and unlocked, then click next. You can use a cable or wireless option to transfer data. Both methods support the same data, even though using a cable is way faster. If you're going to use a cable, which is recommended, make sure that the cable fits into both of your devices. If it doesn't fit, you may need to purchase an adapter or use the wireless method. We now get our old phone and then follow the on-screen instructions to connect both devices with a cable. First, we get our cable, a two-way USB-C cable, as both cell phones have a USB-C port on them. It's possible you see the message, can't connect to the other device. If this happens, you might want to invert or switch your cable. As you should have seen, my old Redmi was actually charging with a new Honor phone instead. It wasn't transferring data. Now we see that both devices are connected. On your old device, tap copy to initiate transfers of your accounts, apps and data from the old phone to the new phone. For a more complete data transfer, we recommend that you sign into your Google account. Choose what you want to copy. Here you have the option to choose what you would like in your new phone. To confirm your selection, you may be asked to enter your PIN or biometrics for your old device. Tap copy. While copying is in progress, your new device shows the message copying your data. And when it's finished, both your devices show the message copying is done. Tap close. Depending on how much data you transfer, this process could take from a few minutes to over an hour. And that's how simple it is. You're ready to create a login in your Honor Magic Lite 6, as in our case, but yours might not require an extra login. So now we are being asked to provide our quick login for an ID. If you have it, great. If you don't, you just cancel. Yeah, agree. Set manually. Next. Allow if you want, if not. So I'm going to enter my data. I'm asked for device protection, set up fingerprint ID, set up face recognition if you want to, or you just set up password. You can either skip it or you can set up your fingerprint. I'm going to set up fingerprints, but to set up fingerprints, you have to set a lock screen first. So let's go back and set a pin first. So set up fingerprints. 
The accuracy of the fingerprint sensor may be affected if you're using a third-party screen protector. For best results, use an official on a screen protector. And yeah. Other options, if you want to set up face recognition, you can do that. I'm not going to do that yet, so skip. Let's enable and continue because I don't have any other option. And system navigations, you can use gestures or you have three keys here. Let's look at the gestures tutorial. Then that's all about the tutorial. So finish. And we are set. You can see that it added the pictures I had in my other cell phone, everything it is added here. And let's come to system update. One more thing to take into consideration. You cannot, via this method, transfer WhatsApp. If you have WhatsApp installed, chats and data are restored from the cloud after you sign into your new Android device and open the app. To restore WhatsApp chats and data, you must first turn on WhatsApp backup on your old device. Now, let's just say you don't have a compatible cable or an adapter. You can still copy your apps and data with a wireless connection. On your new device, when asked to find a cable, tap no cable. When it shows transfer wirelessly, tap next. On your old device, enter your PIN or biometrics. On your old device, open a Google app. Search setup my device. When it shows, get started, tap next. Check that shapes and numbers match on both phones. Tap next and then copy. It is recommended that you sign into your Google account. Choose which apps and data you want to copy. Wait for data to finish copying and you get a message that shows it's complete. You can only perform data transfer once, so it is recommended you do this during setup as the option may not be available afterwards. Finally, before you transfer, remember to make sure both of your phones are charged. Set aside some time. Data transfer can take from a few minutes to a few hours, especially when transferring over Wi-Fi. Check storage on both your old and new devices. If you don't have enough storage on a new device, you can choose which data to transfer. In the case of Samsung devices, there are other ways to copy data from your old phone. If you liked the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell button to receive a notification every time we upload new videos. Thank you for watching, and as always, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.